Well, Thanksgiving is just hours away, which means that, of course, liberals are upset about it. And many Native Americans are regretful that their ancestors traded the island of Manhattan to Dutch settlers back in the 1600s for $24 worth of beads and trinkets. I'd like to make a toast to that. That was a brilliant move. Hey, Jerry, look what I got. The virtue signaling has begun, and like most moral decay in America, it's being led by Hollywood actors. Like John Leguizamo, whose name is familiar, but I can't recall a single movie that he's actually been in. He led the charge, getting started early, posting this on Sunday, denouncing Thanksgiving, saying Happy Indigenous Survivors Day and F Thanksgiving. This from the Pennsylvania Capital Star, which is not supposed to be a parody news website, with a reminder for your holiday table. Thanksgiving celebrates a racist genocide. <laughs> That's neat. Please pass the gravy. And who could forget this classic by the now co-host of Jeopardy, Miriam Bialik. I grew up coloring pictures of pilgrims and indigenous people of the Americas. Indians. We called them Indians when I was a child. <laughs> yes. Having this beautiful, joyous Thanksgiving meal together. Yes. There was corn and turkey and pumpkins and a cornucopia of Wait stuff for it. pouring out on the table. Everybody's having a great time. Yeah. The truth is, European invaders came to this land took it from the indigenous people, raped, pillaged, gave them all sorts of diseases, called it their own, and desecrated a culture. <laughs> it is one of the grossest examples of genocide in recent history, and much as I don't want to think that Thanksgiving's about that, it's really hard for me to not think about that when I think about Thanksgiving. <laughs> Actually, speaking of genocide, that would be what various Native American tribes have been doing to each other since, well, long before the European colonizers came here and helped put an end to it. Just like the Spanish Christian conquistadors who came to Mexico and then put an end to the Mayans cutting people's beating hearts out. But the Marxists want us to apologize for European pilgrims coming here and building this great country. And so now it's a common occurrence for them to do what's called a land acknowledgement, which is literally an apology for Europeans coming and improving the culture here. Like at the official White House Christmas tree lighting ceremony last year. Good evening. I'm grateful to join you on the ancestral homelands of the Anacostan and Piscataway people for the 99th lighting of the national Christmas tree. Oh, she called it Christmas tree. <laughs> That's a big mistake, lady. That's not very inclusive. I'll bet you this year they'll call it a holiday lighting. Meanwhile, at the University of Minnesota, the new class of medical students apologized for all of the great benefits that Western medicine has brought to the world. With gratitude, we, the students of the University of Minnesota Twin Cities Medical School class of 2026, stand here today among our friends, families, peers, mentors, and communities who have supported us in reaching this milestone. Wait for it. Our institution is located on Dakota land. Today, many indigenous people throughout the state, including Dakota and Ojibwe, call the Twin Cities home. <laughs> We also recognize this acknowledgement is not enough. <laughs> it's not we enough. We commit to uprooting the legacy and perpetuation of structural violence deeply embedded within the healthcare system. <laughs> we recognize inequities built by past and present traumas rooted in white supremacy, colonialism, the gender binary, ableism, and all forms of oppression. <laughs> and this is what they're doing at medical school. You would expect this kind of nonsense at Starbucks, but these are future doctors. Anytime anybody complains about what white Europeans did to the Native Americans, they should be forced to watch this segment from the PBS documentary series, Finding Your Roots, which features the actor Don Cheadle, who learned a little surprising fact about American history. Unlike most African Americans who were freed by the end of the Civil War, your ancestors weren't. Take a look at this. This document is an official enrollment card for the Chickasaw Freedmen, the former slaves owned by the Chickasaw Nation. Owned by the Chickasaw Nation. Owned by the Chickasaw Nation. <laughs> Your ancestors were enslaved by Native Americans. You are one of the few African Americans who that was, was not enslaved by, by white people, yeah, but enslaved by Native I Americans. That, I don't know how I feel about that. It's. Uh, uh, you can't blame the white man. That's how you feel about it. 
Another stunning revelation from the Finding Your Roots series occurred when Michael Moore sat down to learn about his ancestry, who, by the way, no matter what his celebrity friends are doing and no matter what he says, he will not be boycotting Thanksgiving. He hasn't missed a meal and would never miss a meal if his life depended on it. But he learned on the show that one of his ancestors was brought to North America from Scotland as a slave and then was later killed by the Indians. Yes, many white people were slaves. and Well, in certain parts of the world, in the third world, still are slaves today. Other liberal lunatics are concerned about the climate impact of Thanksgiving. And we see these articles every year now for the last several years where they literally calculate the size of the carbon footprint for growing the turkey and all of the other food that everybody eats. These are the same people who want to ban meat and make everybody eat bugs. Food for thought at Thanksgiving. Most religious people consider the earth sacred, yet few actively help slow climate change. I'm sure your cornbread is really good, Grandma, but you're killing the earth. Here's some more food for thought. You can save 15% off of any of my shirts from markdays.com starting today through the whole weekend by using the promo code TURKEY at the checkout. And Trump Claus is back if you want to make Christmas dinner extra special this year. And I just released my new Ultra Mega shirt. All available in a t-shirt, long sleeve, and a hoodie, and a whole bunch of different colors as well. So head on over to markdice.com or click the link in the description below. Enter the promo code TURKEY at the checkout to save 15% this whole week. And check them out.